Hello, welcome to another episode of Fresher Food. Today we're going to be making lemon posset, which is an ultra easy, delicious dessert. I'll quickly run through the ingredients. It's seriously quick and I really, really hope that you will try it. We've got some double cream here, 600 ml, some caster sugar and two lemons and that's it. Let's begin. To start with, add the double cream to a large pan. So that's the whole of the 600 ml. Again, not a recipe for people on a diet. And then to the double cream, add six ounces of caster sugar. So as a rough guess, add about six tablespoons. That's only obviously if you don't have wine powders. Right, give the mixture a stir. And we're trying to dissolve all the sugar granules. So you want to bring it to the boil nice and slowly. Now the lemon posset's boiling, you have to let it boil away for about three minutes and after that switch off the heat and let it cool down to its completely room temperature. Once the cream and sugar mixture has cooled down to room temperature, take one of your lemons and start grating the zest. Just the zest then, make sure you don't get any of the white pit. And this will give it a really light citrus flavour. Take the second lemon and do the same. Once you've done that, cut each lemon in half. And you want to add the juice from both lemons to the mix. If you have a lemon squeezer, use it, but equally using your hands and catching the seeds will also work. After you've added the lemon juice, you'll see an amazing thing happening. The whole thing thickens, so give it a nice stir to ensure it's nice and smooth. It'll look like a thick yellow custard actually by this point. And then pour it into a measuring jug. And add it to some serving glasses. You don't want massive portions per person because it's a very rich mixture. So something like that. You can smash it up later. Um, I'm going to finish filling the rest of the glasses and once I've done that you need to refrigerate the mixture for around four hours. After four hours the lemon possets will be beautifully set. As you can see they've got a really nice firm texture. And just like the chocolate pots I made a few episodes ago, they're beautiful to serve with a nice shortbread biscuit.